The three aims of the Air Cadet Program are, is number one, develop good citizenship and leadership. Number two, promote physical fitness. And number three, stimulate an interest in the air element of the Canadian Forces. But is that all that the Air Cadet Program does? I don't think so. Instead of just accomplishing these goals, I think the Air Cadet Program provides something much more valuable, opportunity. Good evening, judges, Air Cadet League staff, parents, guests, and fellow cadets. Before I talk about why the Air Cadet Program is important to Canada, let's go back to the history for a bit. Recall the early days of World War II. France had fallen, and Britain was under heavy attack from the air. The critical need was for trained young men to fly planes in defense of freedom. So the government came up with an idea, which was to select teenage youth who would ultimately take their places as air crew in the ranks of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Soon after, the Air Cadet League was formed in 1941 under the Minister of National Defense for Air, Charles G. Power. When developing this program, the primary purpose was a military one, but its founders were also thinking long-term benefits of Air Cadet training. They realized that through long-term study and participation in this program, the cadets could improve their knowledge of aviation and increase their usefulness in the global community. It was this character building aspect of the cadet program that appealed strongest to the youth of this nation. Now, being a national program, the cadet program has influenced many pressing topics we faced and are facing today, such as gender equality. Let me give you an example. On July 30, 1975, after several years of unofficial participation in squadron operated girl flights, the official participation of girls was approved by Parliament. The Air Cadet Program represents a change in the mindset of not only the program, but also of the nation. From the time Air Cadets was born in April 1941 to the 21st century, close to one million young Canadians have participated in the training program. Today, it is estimated that about 50,000 Canadians are involved in some way with the Air Cadet movement. The Air Cadet Program connects youth from across Canada through activities such as biathlon, marksmanship, and summer camps. All of us here today, including all of us competitors, come from various parts across the nation. As well, the Air Cadet Program connects youth internationally through the uh, International Air Cadet Exchange. But with all of these activities in mind, the overall picture might be missed. The Air Cadet Program gives youth an opportunity to be successful, even though it was never meant as a program for success. This is shown by former Air Cadets. Today, one in five private pilots is an ex-Air Cadet, and 67% of the commercial and airline members began as Air Cadets. It is estimated that about 28% of the flying, technical, and administrative members serving in the Air Force today had some form of Air Cadet training. But even more importantly, the failure rate among ex-Air Cadets joining the service is almost nil. Let me give you some specific examples of former Air Cadets that have not only given back to Canada, but also the world. Cadet alumni include astronauts Mark Garneau, the first Canadian astronaut in space, Chris Hadfield, the first and only Canadian International Space Station commander, and Lieutenant Colonel Maurice Carmichael, the first female snowbirds pilot. Chris Hadfield said, while referring to his squadron that, the lessons I learned there, I still draw upon daily. Self-discipline, teamwork, technical competence, flying, and leadership. I know full well that it was the air cadet experience that allowed me to fly so high. When you think of Canada, one of the things that might pop into your mind is multiculturalism. And this is something that the air cadet program exemplifies. The program is open to all youth, regardless of income, race, religion, culture, and other socioeconomic factors. The program embraces Canada's multiculturalism and offers young Canadians opportunities to interact with different cultures. On a personal note, the cadet program has offered me various chances to pursue my interests and passions. These include marksmanship, effective speaking, and aviation. Only because of the Air Cadet program was I able to successfully obtain my pilot's license. But not only that, today, I'm speaking in front of you, 
This is a direct result of the Air Cadet Program. Ultimately, the Air Cadet Program of Canada offers Canadian youth a physically challenging, mentally stimulating, structured envir environment which promotes personal health and well-being. The Cadet Program is an important investment in our youth today and a means of contributing to Canada's future. It prepares future generations of young Canadians who will learn, serve, and advance through the Air Cadet Program. But, above all else, it provides something very special, opportunity.